So today we've got the final league games of the season and it should be relatively simple to win the league now. However, there are still ways for us to mess it all up and completely lose the league. So today is either going to be the greatest day of our lives or the biggest bottle job you have ever seen in your life. Un, deux, trois. Dans les campagnes, murgir ses forces soldats. Hello and welcome back to the money bags. Today we are playing against Amiens first of all and then we've got a game afterwards against Stade Rene and if we need it we have got the game against SMKN as well. Um, it has been brought to my attention that we could actually win the league today if we win and uh, where is it Leon lose then actually we do win the league against Amiens with three games to go or two games to go after this I suppose. So it all hangs in the balance today. We've got to be watching out for Leon versus Troyes and obviously us against Amiens. We're going to be watching one of them. Uh, we'll have to keep an eagle eye on the Leon game instead. Of course, nothing's happened since last time round. Just looking at the table, though, as you can see, uh, five points clear so far. So, of course, if we win today and Leon lose, then we do indeed win the league. In fact, if they draw, I think they have to win in order to stay uh, in touching distance of us. So, uh, anything but a win for Leon is is a league title for us, as long as we pick up points today as well. So, this is a side then that's taken on Amiens today. Amiens, of course, where the journey with PSG all started back. Uh, a week and a half ago, not that long ago now is it, but the start of the beta, we started at Amiens and lost to them in our first game of the season, which wasn't great, so we want revenge here today. We've got Ariola in goal, a back four of Kazawa, Thiago Silva, Kimpembe and Mario, uh, Verratti and Seri are in the middle, Neymar, Mata and Mbappe across that attacking field trio, in behind the ever-faithful Cavani, who has just been a machine this season, absolute machine. Right, dressing room time, let's go passionate and tell them that we could win the league today, so I'm expecting nothing less than a win, and of course... No one reacts at all, which uh, is a little bit sad. Kickoff though is upon us now, and we need to try and get up the the latest scores along the side. I know we can see it elsewhere, but I do want to see it on here as well. Uh, latest scores is only showing us now. I think this is potentially because we are the a slightly later kickoff. Uh, I've accidentally zoomed in on the pitch there. I didn't mean to do that. We are a slightly later kickoff tonight. Uh, everyone else kicks off at eight, whereas we kick off at nine. And so by looks of things. Leon have won their game. If we go to updates, it's not telling us. But by looks of things, Leon have won. So showing this is almost pointless, really, because I don't think we can win the league now in this game because Leon may have just won. That's why I showed you the the, the fixtures at the start because I knew we were a slightly later kickoff and I thought it might show you the results of that first. But clearly, it's not. So I feel like a bit of an idiot now, really. Free kick for us then, Neymar puts it in the middle and no one is there to collect it, but uh, Mata picks it up on the edge of the area, plays it to Cavani who has a first time shot and it rockets into the top right hand corner there. We've gone Wandel up now, we're doing our bit against Amiens, as long as we can just keep the result now, we should be safe to win the league really. I am tempted to not talk too much over this game though because uh, we do potentially have three games to play today if things don't go quite to plan, so... That is, that is my, my thinking here. We could be showing three games rather than two, which would make a very long episode. So I don't want to talk too much in case that does happen and then I have to edit loads of stuff out and I don't want to miss anything too crucial, really. But that highlight there came very close, hit the post and uh, we're coming closer and closer to more goals. The more goals, the better, really, because we want this goal difference going up as much as possible in case we do end up losing a game or two and, and having to rely on goal difference, basically. A very quiet first half so far, but that's not to be frowned upon. You know, at the start of the season when we lost, we thought it was all, all hell had broken loose, really. But Amiens have done so well. I think going into this game, they were seventh in the table. So they're not a bad side by any stretch of the imagination. This season, they've got a lot of form carrying them through. So a win here is, is a very good result, to be fair, considering where they are in the table. Also, we noticed that uh, Gail Kakuta is playing for, for Amiens. I'm sure at one point he was the player that sort of managed to get... Uh, Chelsea like a transfer ban at some point or something like that I'm sure he was the player that was uh, a centre of a big Chelsea transfer ban if anyone knows more about that let me know in the comment section that's where I recognise the name from I'm sure that was the case right let's make a few changes then still nothing's happened in this game at all it's been a very very quiet game but we'll make a few changes bring on some fringe players uh, to you know to put it nicely I suppose and really not only the fringe players we do use a lot of these players Javier Pastore never gets a game there so we'll bring him on for for Verratti instead gets live let's give Verratti a little bit of a rest we'll maybe just leave it there for now I think Mario can come off and we'll bring on Danny Alves for a little bit because Danny Alves needs a little run out as well and we'll leave it like that for now I do want to keep a bit of rotation going around in case we pick up an injury going into the uh, the Champions League final we do want to have players 100% match sharp and 100% fit going into that game so Rotation is actually probably quite key, so I should probably look to do a bit more of that, really. 
Highlight now, right towards the end of the game now. One of the first highlights of the second. In fact, it is the first highlight of the second half. All these other ones have been yellow cards and it shows the little highlight thing instead. Uh, this literally is the first highlight of the second half, I believe, uh, unless I've got short-term memory loss. But um, it looks like Amiens are trying to build from the back now as, as Bodmer plays a great ball up towards uh, Gakpe, but he's not really done much with it. And now Neymar's got a chance to come forward. He gets tackled, though. It's only gone as far as Thiago Silva. Plays a nice ball through towards uh, Gene Michael Serri, who's not had too many chances as he's saw, uh, since he joined in January, but he has now a chance now to put Mbappe through and Mbappe was through his shot though excellently saved by the goalkeeper and Kozawa brings the ball down the left hand side for surely the last little action of the game nothing else left in this game at all the goalkeeper clears it uh, looks for Gael Kakuta to be fair and the referee's still not blown despite playing 30 seconds more but there we go the full time whistle is gone and really a pretty poor game nothing happened at all nothing noteworthy we haven't won the league let's just get on with it shall we so Leon actually did win 1-0, which does mean that there's still five points between us. So with two games left, they still have a chance. But anything but a win for them in the next game does mean... In fact, we have to lose the next game. They have to win it to stay in it, basically. So as long as we win the next game, we have won the league. We've got a couple of days until the game against uh, Stade Brené, which should be a decent win, to be fair. I mean, I can't see us not winning that game. They're 10th in the table. We're top of the table. We've got such a better side. A win should be fairly routine here, but saying that, if it was routine, we would have won the league a long time ago, so perhaps I'm being a bit too overconfident and cocky going into this. Right, I've been told to do a little bit of a, a team talk, a team meeting. These never really go too well, do they? But we may as well do it. Calmly, we've put ourselves in a position to win the title, which is expected of us. We've worked hard all season to uh, put ourselves one win away from the title. I think that's the best thing to say. Or do we want to say, don't let it play on your mind? Let's say, don't let it play on your mind. Uh, two people have agreed with me. A lot of players think I'm downplaying the occasion. Okay, right. I'm going to go for this bottom one. That wasn't the reaction I was hoping for, but I'm grateful for you who don't agree with me. And everyone's morale's gone down. So, classic. I just didn't want to put any pressure on the players. I just wanted them to go in the game with clear heads. But instead, no. They've panicked and, uh, and said, no, we want the pressure. So, if they want pressure, they can bloody well have it. Nice to see that Paris FC have been promoted. If we did another season with them, that would be a very nice derby. But unfortunately, we're not doing another season with Paris Saint Germain. Uh, we're just doing the one because it's a beta. And I've got bigger fish to fry with Lincoln City after this. So we've made quite a few changes actually for this game against uh, Stade Rene. Uh, we've brought Marquinhos on for the uh, silver. We've brought Pastore and Nine Golan back on the pitch. Draxler and Di Maria also come on. Other than that though, things have stayed the same. We'll bring actually Yuri on, I think, instead of Kazawa because I do want to get some rotation to these players. Uh, but I think going forward, that's probably correct. So let's try and win this game now against Stade and win the league in doing so. Right, Stade kicking off. And uh, importantly, actually, we're at home, aren't we? Which is even better because it does mean that um, Strasbourg have gone one up against Lyon. It doesn't mean that we're playing at home. Uh, I'm just saying that it literally came at the top of the bar there. But it's saying uh, if we're playing at home today, we do win it on home turf. We can lift the trophy at home. But it's fantastic news that uh, Leon have already gone 1-0 down because if things stay the same, even if we draw 0-0 now, we do win the league. They have to win, we have to lose. So already things are going in our favour within a minute into the game. And now Juan Mata nearly, nearly puts it in our favour even more so by scoring a goal there. He missed the target in the end. Well, he didn't miss the target. The goalkeeper saved it. So it was completely different though. Cavani shot from the corner. Not a very good one. They've cleared it. That's it. Brandon on the ball then for uh, for Stabrené, which I think I'm saying wrong. I, I, I mean, I, it's not wrong. Although, is it wrong? I don't know. I'm not quite sure. I just saw at the top there as well, Strasbourg and now 2 up. So, even more chance for winning the league today. I'm very, very confident now that we've just won it. I can sit back and relax and just watch this game for fun now. Brandon on the ball, though, for, for Stade Rene coming forward. Doesn't get uh, very far. Gets tackled by Yuri. Now, Draxa has a wonderful ball through to Di Maria, who puts it into the bottom corner past the goalkeeper. We're 1-0 up. Leon are 2-0 down. This is easy. We're, we're winning the league today in this game. Fantastic stuff. Just for confirmation for you here, uh, Strasbourg 2-0 up against Lyon. As you can see in the league table, we are seven points clear. Too easy. It's like taking candy from a baby. Do you remember when Monaco were top of the table? Yeah, well, that's a long time ago. Oh, we've got a penalty. We've got a penalty. I'm not sure what it was for, but Juan Mata now to make it um, six goals scored from penalties from 19 taken in this whole season, which is absolutely bloody ridiculous because how... It's just wrong. I still think that's a bug. I genuinely do think it's a bug still that that has happened. We've scored so few penalties. I, it has to be a bug. If it's not, then 
I, we've been incredibly unlucky this season, incredibly. Di Maria's corner comes into the area, Cavani gets it down, uh, tries to control it, but loses possession in the end. Mata now through to Julian Drax, they puts it back to Di Maria in such a lovely fashion, and Di Maria has made it 3-0 now in 32 minutes. There's no chance we're not winning the league. This is it. We've done it. I mean, can we just skip forward now? I mean, there's, there's too many highlights in this. We had too few highlights against Amiens, and now too many in this. As Cavani picks the ball up straight from kickoff, Di Maria on it once again, looking for his hat-trick, cuts inside, shoots for his hat-trick, but puts it well wide, unfortunately for him. Juan Mata on the ball on the edge of the area now, puts it out towards Di Maria, but he didn't quite get there in time. Drax's the ball, though, through to Cavani with one possession back, and Cavani slots it into the bottom corner again, and now we're falling a lot. This is just a bit bit repetitive now. Now, can we just fast forward to the end of the game now and just win the title? I want to see us lifting it. I need I need a trophy actually. Uh, I've not got the ice cream tub from the other day, so I need something else as a trophy. I mean, we're falling up at half time. Uh, happy with things are going. Keep it up, lads. We're falling up at half time. I don't really need to watch the second half, so I'm going to try and find a trophy. I mean, there's really nothing nothing around that is trophy like. I'm being honest with you. All right, I've got a trophy now. I'm not going to share it yet. I've sort of used similar things before um, as a trophy, uh, but not this particular item. So technically this is new, but I feel like I'm going to have to use it a couple times now because I can't find anything else that's trophy-like, really. Anyway, how have we done in these, um, these these first few exchanges of the second half? I mean, I say first few, it's halfway through the second half now. Let me know in the comments how we did because I wasn't watching. Uh, so I hope you were. Changes need to be made though, because we do have another game coming up after this, and I do want to keep players fit, especially because we've got the Champions League final. Juan Mata picks up a knot though, potential knee injury, and that could be detrimental, so we'll take him off, bring Neymar on. Uh, who else is looking a little bit tired and we need to rest up? Draxler, not particularly. Pastore, not particularly. So we'll leave it like that for now, but uh, that is worrying about Juan Mata, actually. That is very worrying. Draxler plays the ball in towards uh, Di Maria, but it's intercepted now, and uh, Stade Rene have a chance to try and turn things around and try and get a consolation goal at the end of this. Uh, they're sitting mid-table, aren't they? So it doesn't really matter this game at all for them. Uh, I don't know what prize money is like in, in Ligue 1, so potentially they could be losing or gaining a few million depending on these kind of results so it could actually be quite important for them coming forward but now Draxler can't quite get onto the end of that ball there as Yuri now collects it plays it through to Pastore Pastore out to nine Golan out towards Draxler back to Pastore lovely little passing play here Yuri puts it in towards Cavani to cap off a really really nice move there that was fantastic we're five up now against Stade Rene uh, we'll go to the updates we'll see how far down um Strasbourg have gone ahead. Uh, oh, actually, they are still ahead. That's all right. Let's also, who we've got on loan there. He's our player at um, at Lyon. Wherever the Lyon score's just gone. Um, oh, it's there still. He's he scored a penalty for them to get a consolation goal. But it doesn't matter. It's full time. And here we are celebrating the trophy in our own home stadium. There are the boys in the blue. And there's some guys in red as well. Um, so I guess they're just Stade Rene players that have sort of decided that they want to join PSG. Um, and celebrate with us but a 5-0 win there caps off a really nice league season there we came through it all at one point I didn't think we we're going to win it because Leon really were in such good form and we just couldn't really do anything against them but luckily for us they did drop form towards the end of the season we got ahead of them and we've now won it do you want to see the trophy Hooray! this is it this is a um for some of you you may not know but um I'll tell you now I used to I used to row that was my sport on the water, and uh, and this is a, a a pot that they're known in the business, a pot for winning a race. Uh, I won Nottingham Autumn Head race uh, a few years ago now, so uh, I did drop it though, and it it did all break. Uh, so the sellotape holding it all together now, which is why it looked a bit funny to you, I suppose. But um, a nice little a nice little win there, and also it's not that it's a league earned trophy. That's what I'm holding up the league earned trophy. Paris Super Double, of course, we won the um, cup thing, whatever that was called. You know, I can't remember what it's called. I genuinely can't remember what it was called, but apparently we beat Bordeaux 7-1 at one point, so that was decent to be fair. Bonus paid out of um, nothing to no one, which is nice. I don't like paying bonuses to players. Uh, we've won the league, another one for us. Juan Mata's out for two to three weeks. That is bad. That is really, really detrimental, actually, because he is our star man in the middle. He's been so crucial to us all season. He's going to miss the Champions League final now. He, oh my, he actually is going to miss it, isn't he? If look down the schedule then, the Man City, the Man United game, the Champions League final, is in 14 days, two weeks. It's going to be very, very touch and go if Juan Mata makes it back in time. Oh, this is not good. Well, a bit of a down to it in the episode on there as Juan Mata picks up an injury. I mean, we can play Neymar there and put Draxler on the left-hand side, but I'd much rather have Mata there because he's been so crucial all season. So, 
we'll have to wait and see till next episode till tomorrow to find out so tomorrow we are playing in the Champions League final. I'm dead excited. I hope you are too. So join me then for tomorrow. If you want to say congratulations to the team for winning the league, drop a like on the video now. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow. Qui s'est ignoble d'un tracé faire des longtemps préparé Des coups hors d'étrangères Ferait la loi dans nos foyers